Okay, so I'm now back to the um, this one, which I think is going to be a Ophelia one, and I think this is going to be the one on the frame, I think it's for Juliet, and we have another with rabbits on, so uh, we might have that one. Oh, we'll have to sort it out between all the sisters and the sort of semi-cousins that we have in our family. Right, um, now, and we also have a dinosaur to come, Richard, don't forget. So we must make another one, a fourth. So uh, I'm now going to work a cool outline or cool stem stitch along the top of here because I've actually finished this one. This is all the laid work and the couch work. So I'm going to take a double thread using um, just the normal stitching length, which is from the tip of the finger to the elbow, fold that over again and snip that off. I have now found my scissors, you'll be all glad to know. Right, bounce the thread to make the, the threads nice and even. Pinch the fold, push the needle down over the fold, thread that through. Now, when you're stitching down a line, a good place to actually cast on is actually about up to an inch away from where you're going to start stitching. So I'm taking the thread down as usual, pull this one out of the way and pop that through. Now, to do a cruel stem stitch, you just come up at the top of the line and hold the loop down the shape and then take your needle down, hold the thread south like this with your second finger, then come halfway up, halfway back up that line and come through like that. So down, Come back to the end of the first stitch, pinch and come through. Down, hold the loop south. So it's sort of like a back stitch, although I hate comparing stitches because every country and every area of every country calls stitches a different thing. So I actually call this a cruel stem stitch. Now you could make them quite long because you're actually going along a straight line. So you can see that stitch, it's about three quarters of an inch long. And <clears throat> if they actually do uh, become slightly uneven, you can just pull one thread or the other. And if that ever happens, what I usually do is I take the needle down and then just pull each thread like that. It's quite good for you to see me completely mess it up. <laughs> but there are always ways of getting around everything. I always think it's a very forgiving medium. We'll just stay on this stitch for a minute, Richard. Now, just to point out before you leave me, I'm using the colour I used for the base here, but you could use this couching colour, doesn't matter at all. <clears throat> and um, Or you could do this by hand later without the, thread, the frame on, you could easily do this without a frame. You don't need to outline down here because this is going to be the front of the stocking and it's going to have some sort of um, cord, which we could actually make from threads, which would be quite exciting. 